Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Tuesday, the ninth day of July 2024. Open your mouth this morning and be saying amen to today's prayers. I want to pray for you that the expectations of the enemies over your life, your family and career will never come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. The enemies that are waiting for you to be disgraced so that they can laugh at you. I want to decree this morning that they will wait and wait in vain because their expectations and their hard desires concerning your life and family will never materialize in the name of Jesus Christ. I am praying for somebody this Tuesday morning that the Lord God Almighty will remember you for good and God will change where you are. Because as you are hearing me this morning, there are several people hearing the sound of my voice who are not actually where God wants them to be. They are just somewhere where they are managing. But as I'm praying for you this morning, I see God relocating you from where you are now to the original place where you ought to be or where you ought to have been. I see God relocating you divinely by himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Today being Tuesday. I want to pray and counsel every evil agenda or agendas of the wicked ones over your life. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is laying in my heart to pray against the spirit of rejection for somebody today. Rejection and disappointment. I terminate such spirits in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am praying for you today. The Lord said to Jeremiah, he said, Behold, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There is nothing that is hard for the Almighty. But somebody who is hearing the sound of my voice this morning and saying, Oh God of Pastor Eniola, when are you going to answer me? I am glad to announce to that I am glad to announce to that individual or those individuals that God has answered your prayers, God has listened to your cry. And he's asking me to tell you that answers are coming sooner than you expected in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of us this Tuesday, the Lord will bless and promote you. The Lord will prosper you. Everyone holding what belongs to you. Today, the Lord will compel them and they will release them with joy and happiness. Anyone who refuse, anyone who does not want to release it, anyone who does not want to release what belongs to you willingly, the Lord will compel them, and by force, they will release them to you in Jesus' name. All of us, as we go out today, the Lord will prosper us, everyone traveling today. I want to decree by the authority of the Lord that your journey today shall be prosperous, and the Lord will make all things beautiful for you in Jesus' name. You are blessed, and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I received. Praise God. Beloved, in our Bible reading today, this Tuesday, we are still reading the book of Jeremiah. We are reading chapters 33 and 34. The book of Jeremiah, chapters number 33 and 34. Please read those two chapters and God will minister to you. In our daily communion with God on this day, the ninth day of July, we are taking our reading from page 203, page 203, and our heavenly meal is titled, You Can't Give What You Don't Have. You Can't Give What You Don't Have. It's on page 203 of our daily communion with God. The Lord bless you as you read in Jesus' name. Let me take two testimonies this morning. This one's a testimony, testimony. And they start with a Yoruba song. Say, I am an ardent listener of Hour of Destiny devotional. I am the woman who requested for your prayers concerning my children marital issue. Today, I want to return all the glory to the Most High that on your birthday, 13th of the month, one of them got married. Every effort of the enemy was thwarted. To him alone be all the glory. I believe that the God who started this good work will perfect everything this year. I'm an ardent listener of your program from Quarter State. Thank you, sir, for standing in the gap 
for us. Praise God. To God be the glory for breaking the hedge of the devil. Another one is here. Good afternoon, Daddy Aniola. This testimony I'm about to share is an evidence that God truly called you, sir. This is my first testimony on this platform. Yesterday being the first day of the month, while I was listening to Hour of Destiny and Spiritual Breakfast, and like you always advise us to give somebody something every first day of the month, so I decided that I was going to give I was I was going to give to my mom. Actually, I really give her money due to the fact that I don't really have much. So I obeyed your godly advice and managed to send five thousand naira to her. After twenty minutes, someone called me and gave me 150,000 naira of a truth. You are a true servant of God. That is, I pray that your anointing will never go down. God will clothe you with grace and honor. Remain blessed, sir. Wow. The God be the glory. God will always confirm the word of his anointed. Now let's go to hear the word of God this Tuesday morning. For the past few days, we've been talking about certain battles that you should not fight. You say you should not fight against God. Don't fight against the, the place where God's interest, where God has interest. Uh, don't fight them. Don't fight the servant of God. And then two days ago and yesterday, I also advised us not to fight our parents. Don't pick up a fight against your parents, either directly or indirectly. It is a battle you cannot win. Today, I want to also say, don't fight the people that are above you. Don't fight the people, especially those who know your rising, because it is very easy for someone who knows how you, how you rise to get to where you are to also pull the strings and get you back to where you were before. So don't fight the people ahead of you. Oh, I remember, I know in some quarters, you see the subordinates looking for a way to downgrade or to bring down their immediate boss. Don't do that. Don't fight. Don't, you may have heard people say, don't bite the finger that fed you. There are so many people today who are ingrate. There are many people today that have been assisted in one way or the other. But when they got to, when they got to where they are going, they forget their benefactor. Don't do that. Don't fight someone who has helped you in life. Don't fight someone who knows you about your rising. Don't fight someone that you will meet on your way to the top. You maybe that is when they are coming down. Don't fight them because they have seen so many things in life. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 6, 1 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 6, before that time, you no know, King Saul had been looking for a way to kill David. He sent men from one part of the country to another, hunting for this young man to kill him. But on a fateful day, God brought fortune before David. On a fateful day, David had the, the, the privilege to meet, to, you know, to meet King Saul at a very close range. And he said, no, even when his men, even when his servants said, look, master, this is the day that the Lord has set aside to destroy your enemy. But David said, no. Look at 1 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 6. 1 Samuel chapter, chapter 24 and verse 6, King James Version. He said, and he said unto his men, the Lord forbid that I should do this unto my master. You look at, look at that adjective. As of this time, David, humanly speaking, he was not supposed to even address Saul again as his master because they had parted way. He knew that the man was looking for him to kill. But he said, no, I cannot do this unto my master, the Lord's anointed, to stretch forth my hand against him, seeing he is the Lord's anointed. David recognized the place you know, the, he recognized the grace of God upon the life of Saul. Even though Saul was already, you know, out of the way, even though Saul had you know, already been rejected by God, but David said, no, I will not stretch forth my hand, meaning I will not fight him. As you are hearing me this morning, who are you fighting? 
There are people that have helped you in life. There are people that assisted you to where you are. You are now fighting them tooth and nail. It is a battle you cannot win. I will beg you to you know to beat a retreat, retrace your step, and stop fighting those that have put their life on the line. I am not talking about politically because I know, you know there are so many fights between Godfather and God's son. If you look at it, that their own, it is political. But I'm talking just generally. Don't bite the fingers that has once fed you in life. Don't fight the people that knows about your rising. Don't fight the people that saw you when you were climbing the ladder to the top. If you fight them, they might remove the ladder and you'll fall down. I want to put it to you and I want to appeal to you. Don't fight against God. Don't fight against his, his servant. Don't fight against the true and genuine children of God. Don't fight against your parents, whether biological or spiritual. Don't fight against them. And also today, don't fight against your helpers. If someone has assisted you, whether it is small or great, but you know that without the assistance of those individuals, there will still be a vacuum in your life. But God brought them on the scene and they assisted you and helped you to get to where you are. Don't fight them. Don't fight them. David said, I will not stretch forth my hand against the Lord's anointed. Saul was looking for David to kill. If it were now, oh, it should have been a very express way for David to kill so. But David said, no. Number one, he is my master. Number two, he is the Lord's anointed. I will not stretch forth my hand to kill him. I want to put it to everyone hearing the sound of my voice this morning. Your master may not know how to do it like you anymore. Your boss might not be, your boss today might be old school, but don't fight them. You still need their knowledge. You still need their expertise. You still need their wisdom. Go to them. And if you are already fighting them, or if you have fought them in the past, go back and apologize so that the spirit and the, the blessing of God can rest upon you. David said, no, I will not do this unto my master, who is the Lord's anointed. I want to say to somebody today, anointing doesn't fade. Anointing of God upon an individual remains remains permanent so don't fight them don't fight them don't fight your helpers don't fight someone who have who at one time or the other help you because if you minus that help that came from that person probably you will not be where you are today so don't fight them the lord bless you the lord increase you the lord will multiply his grace and his power upon our lives in jesus name remember to read your bible today the book of Jeremiah chapters 33 and 34. Jeremiah 33 and 34. And read your communion on page 203 with a heavenly meal. You can't give what you don't have. May the Lord bless you. May the Almighty God prosper you and grant you success all through. Have a lovely and a peaceful day. Amen.